Alright, let's give this a try. Secret Highlander Hunter. I never thought I'd see the day that Highlander Hunter becomes a thing. Ha, <laughs> this guy's toast. Let me guess, Pirate Warrior. Pirate Warrior, I assume. Patches his back, boys, and he's more pirate than ever. Oh, never mind, it's not Patches. Let's snipe whatever he plays. The old snip snipe. He didn't play a one drop, so we can probably get a good snipe value here. Oh my god, what is this? Tank warrior? Why doesn't this guy have units? Control warrior? Oh, wa Galakrond Warrior. Oh, lordy lord. Galakrond Warrior it is. That's cool. Varan has changed the health of all enemies to one. Oh, this is such a value snipe. Why are you thanking me? I killed your unit. You should be n not thanking me. That's not bad. Leoc would have been 2 damage. Huffa would have been 4. But um, Misha's just a 4-4 four four with Tom, which is always not bad. He kept 3 cards in his mulligan. Oh, it's Dragon Warrior. Oh, that's weird. Change the health of all enemy minions to 1. I'm going to play with Rana. Let's get a 7-6 on the board. Maybe I could have freezing and waited, but next time I can play Bran. I just want to keep up the damage pressure. Now seven six is really powerful, right? Now if this was Huffer, he'd be at sixty. Oh Lord, anti dragon tech. That's a neat trick. I have Bran here. I mean, if I brand, I'll have an 8-8 eight eight punching him in the face. But this can trade into my King Crush. And Brand's a 2-4, huh? If I brand, I put in 16 damage. It's King Crush trades. I don't say this is actually better. But what do I know? What do I know? I just want to make sure I'm hero powering each turn because it's really value. Because it forces him to use two mana every single turn as well. No yeah, there's another benefit of Freezing Trap. That's for this. Or else he could have used his 8-4 to kill my 8-8. Um, eight eight. And the Reborn Mummy could have killed my 7-6, right? So, just taking it slow is fine. I still got it. I'm still worthy. I'm still worthy. Ooh. Some really powerful cards. It's a paladin. Dragon paladin? Or dragon paladin. If so, I want to freezing trap his um, dragon rider. Because his dragon rider with infinite death rattles can be really annoying. At the start of your turn, gain one health. Of course, you got that on curve. Your wish is my Highlander Zephyrus. Highlander Zephyrus. And Paladin. Huh. Okay. This hot air balloon is so annoying. <laughs> uh, I just don't know if that's the right order. I play this, this just trades into that, right? If I get Leoc, I think Leoc's fine. Or Huffer. Yeah, Huffer at least trades. And when you trade that, because that hot air balloon's just gonna get hotter and hotter. Use his Zephyrus card, so that's nice. Oh my god, he does not respect Explosive Trap at all. He's being really greedy. Is there a card that AoE buffs all his minions? I could just play the 8-8, eight, eight, I suppose. It's good that he is dragon. Makes my poacher really powerful.
And I have Snipe too in case he plays like his 4 4 dragon that he just got. Converting stored energy. Uh, play realm. Wait, I don't have Snipe. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I saying? This is still really good though. I could coin this out as well, the Dino Tamer. Zephyrus only gives classic cards. That is something I need to remember. It had to be snakes. I think I should kill the mech. Probably just bring out the Dino, Dino Tamer, honestly. Wow, whip it. Um, he could play snip snap, but if he plays two snip snaps on that, it's a uh, four attack, which means it technically trades. It also means he's pretty much dead if he does that. I'm trying to think about all the magnetic opportunities. I guess Ziliax would be kind of annoying. I'm always leaving one thing up, right? Doesn't really matter which one. Zephyr gives Fireball, because Fireball is a classic card. And Zephyr is never, ever misses lethal. I've never played with Zephyr. This is the first time I've ever go I'm ever going to play Zephyr. Siamat! Wind Fury Rush. Oh, that's neat. So I'm guaranteed to get Fireball from Zephyr, right? Whoa, 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 you're not gonna let me play Zephyrus? How did you know I have Zephyrus? Huh? Come on, bro. Ooh. God, this is so contingent on me drawing a secret here. And I got good odds, right? One, two, three, four, five, six possible secrets. Uh, I just kind of wish I'm going first, so Secret Keeper has a better chance to stay alive. <laughs> After your hero attack, summon a 1 1 Locust with a rush. That's fine if he wants to use his hero power here. That's totally fine. Should I coin Hyena? Probably not. I got a decent turn 3 plays here. Poisonous ensures I trade with anything he slams down, right? They can only slam down a four cost. I guess that um, rush worm would be annoying, the one that benefits off dragons. Can't be targeted by spells or hero power. Deal for damage to two random enemy minions. Seven, seven. Can't be targeted by spells or hero power. I feel like this isn't bad. Deals with the board, right? Take the Twin Tyrant. I should take the 7-7 seven seven so I can coin out Alex Raza. Yeah, I like this guy because he can potentially trade off with something. Ooh, unlucky. Oh my god, you're going to activate my Rat Trap so I don't get high enough value? That's either really smart or really dumb. And looks like the answer is really dumb. Don't get high enough value anymore. It's fine. Instead of a 7-7, seven, seven, I have a 6-6. Six, six. Still pretty good. Get to keep my Poisonous Primordial Explorer. I'm kind of glad it only took one damage from the Arcane Missile, so he didn't decide to hero power. Oh, Malagos. What's up, bro? If you're holding a dragon, discover an upgraded mage spell. So, it, like, super fireball. Oops. Let's just trade this off. I can get Huffer off this. Eh, Misha's okay. I'm gonna hit Phase because, you know, his health is pretty low. I'm gonna try and rush him down. And his upgraded Mage spell wouldn't be that strong. I got him on the back foot. He has to constantly clear. Oh, thank god there was no uh, Doomsayer to come down with that. That would be a problem. Maybe I should play Ursatron, knowing I was gonna be able to Snip Snap next turn. 
He's setting up for a flame strike, huh? Okay, if he's trying to set up for a flame strike, then when you make a play that's strong against flame strike, then that play would be. If I do this into this, this has five damage. I do this into this has four damage while giving me echo value. I think it's more important that I have power on the board. This is like one damage stronger and a little less value, but remember that this will cycle itself. He's trying to set up for a flame strike, from what I can tell. So I'm trying to make for a play that is decent against flame strike. Oh lord, okay. You definitely want to press my hero power button. Gotta also be very aware of Dragon Queen Alexstrasza coming down. If I coin this Hyena... I have a Freezing Trap, so any minion he plays doesn't really matter. It's just gonna get bounced back. I just need to be able to beat his um, Alexstrasza. So I can like try and go for pure damage too much. Is it cold in here? After he cast three spells, summon an elemental. There's no way that's good. Is Ice Block still in the game? Oh, there's Dino Tamer. Let's go for oh god. What if it's mirror ant? Should still be okay, right? Ah, uh, Divine Rush. I like that. And Ysera. This plays a little better against, like, Vaporize. You could constantly freeze the board. That'd be really annoying. That's fine. Ooh, I love the animation on this. It's so custom. On the Chenvala, very nice, very cool. Hey, lights out.